Hey, it's Matt from the Grain Arcade playing Farming Simulator 15 back at Westbridge Hills. And we are now working on uh, chaffing for the biogas plant. So we're going to turn our mower on and uh, turn our wagon on, lower mower, lower wagon, and we're ready to roll. And I've already done... Uh, I've already done maybe four or five loads and blanketed the first silo. Only filled it up to about 10%. Um, just want to get at least the first two bunkers uh, going with uh, silage, making the silage and uh, getting it ready for a great demand. Um, only going to fill it up to 10%. I think that's the minimum you can have in there before you blanket the silo. Um, but we just want to have that ready. Only going to fill it up to 10% because we only have the small bucket loader for this T6. We don't have a wheel loader or telehandler or anything like that. So we're just going to mow and pick up this grass and uh, take it on over. Notice I've got the uh, help window open up, up at the top left there. That's so I can see uh, what my fill level is on the uh, the bunkers once I go over there and uh, tell what my compaction is so yeah we're mowing away here and you know you could you could do this you could expand this you could get the rear mowers for the tractor and mow more at once but then you'd have to go back and really you'd have to go back and wind row it and uh, then go back again and pick it up with the trailer um, if you had more than one person like if you were in multiplayer that would that would be ideal because you, you could give more people more to do uh, somebody could mow somebody could wind row and somebody could uh, pick it up with the trailer and dump it in the uh, bunkers but we don't have uh, multiple people here right now and like I said in the future I may open this up and uh, bring people in um, but for now we're gonna do it this way and I actually need to lift the mower and turn Uh, do we want to go that way? I tell you what, we're going to go that way. Mow this on the side here. And get ready, we'll lower the mower. And here we go again. Put my hazard, not hazards, beacons on. As you know, we need those little signs that you put out on the sides of the roads that say mowers working ahead. Yep, yeah, this uh, field here will be a long term goal. Mainly what we're focused on right now, we have a tractor, uh, this tractor, and I think it's the only piece of equipment that we have on this farm right now. So we definitely need a combine. Uh, I'm thinking about shooting for the, uh, the small case since this uh, is Westbridge and uh, it's a, an American map. Uh, I think case is probably the more preferred brand um, as far as what's available on this on this series um, you see I think you see more case IH than you do New Holland even though I even though New Holland is the um, and I want to use the right words here the more dominant brand I hate to say dominant brand. Um, I 
Boy, words are just not coming out this morning. Um, economical brand, maybe? But anyway, I've covered this before. You guys know what I mean, right? So, but yeah, I think I'm going to do, I think we're going to do case. Well, we may do a, we may do a, a joint effort, you know, case and then New Holland eventually. Um, but uh, I want to get into the case equipment. We'll get a case tractor and a, like I said, that, uh, what is it, 70 20? I'm going to have to look it up now. Um, no, 7130. Sorry, not 7020. 7130. And then we'll get that one first and then eventually get that one. But, um, we may do that. We may just do a, uh, a dual equipment farm. Case New Holland Farms has a ring to it. All right, we'll get this here, and uh, we'll go back down uh, the north side of 21, and we should have enough from that to carry down to the biogas. Like I said, I've already filled bunker one. We're going to put this in bunker two, and um, get it going, and we may work. Once we get 10% in bunkers 1 and 2, we may go ahead and start filling the other ones up um, at a higher level. Um, just so we'll have more there in case we need it. So our first purchase, once we make some money, and we've got 60000 right now. Um, we've already taken our loan and everything. we still got some trees to clean up down there on the uh, east side of 16. Um, pretty much jumped right into uh, biogas production uh, since the ending of last the last video. Because we want to get that going. I think there's more... I think there's more money in biogas right now playing on normal than there would be in logging and and uh, really there's not a lot of logging to be done on Westbridge I mean yeah there's these trees here and, but it's not a logging map there are no designated logging areas um, so we need to get priority one on biogas But yeah, our first purchase needs to be a combine because we still have to do the fields and uh, farm, you know, the crop. Because that's that is farming simulator. That's that's where it started, and that's what we need to do. Still got to feed the world, so we're gonna keep that rolling. And um, like I said, the combine shooting shooting for the uh, case New Holland. But I think until then, we'll just do biogas production. So I'll probably play a little more uh, in between videos just to get uh, biogas going. And uh, in my experience playing, uh, and I don't know if it's on because of different maps or not, but my experience here on Westbridge, playing on uh, Westbridge, the Great Demands, and that now I've played on easy before. I don't think I've ever played, you know, really full headstrong on normal. But the great demands usually come right away for biogas and let me bring this around here I mean like it's it's usually the first thing that hits uh, you won't see great demands for crop right away uh, usually you see a great demand for silage at the uh, biogas plant and if you don't get into it right away you're like, oh, there's a great demand for silage, but I don't have any silage. There's none made. 
That's why um, you need to do this right here. This is the fastest way to get into silage, silage production into biogas. Is just to have a front mower, a tractor, and a pickup wagon. Because we can dump this all into uh, the bunkers over there. Now the best way to do it is to, of course, get a forage harvester. You can get the Crone, you can get the uh, the New Holland, which is the one I prefer. Or you can get uh, the, I want to say it's a Rostel Mash. I think it's the same brand as these other harvesters. Let's see, that's, that's Rostel, yeah, it's a Rostel Mash. There it is right there. Now this would be the most economical forage harvester to get but it's 442 horsepower it's not as big as some of the other ones say this one this one's 824 horsepower that is almost double the horsepower of this Rostel mash so when you think about it I mean this is Westbridge Hills if you're gonna be doing any forage harvesting on hills or you know inclines or stuff like that you want to have something that has the horsepower, and the New Holland does. The Crone does. Uh, it has more horsepower than the New Holland. Uh, it's it's 1,034 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. And um, it's just, basically it's just preference. I mean, you can use the Crone. There's nothing wrong with the Crone. It works fine. The Rostel Mash works fine. Uh, it may, may be uh, a little slower going up hills, but... Uh, I really like the New Holland, so we'll be getting that uh, sometime soon. And I forgot what the capacity is on this trailer. It should be getting full soon. Is it 25,000? I think it's 25,000. Well, we have this uh, this exact same trailer over on uh, Solsnovka, and if you haven't checked out those videos, go check them out. We're uh, rolling over there on that map, getting it going. Got our Bjorn home map going. Uh, really focusing on, uh, I think we're going to focus on logging on that map. So go check them out. They're uh, on the Green Arcade. Uh, search for the green arcade uh, on YouTube and uh, we've created the playlists so uh, we'll be adding more videos to each individual playlist for each map and if you like Minecraft check out the Minecraft videos while you're there all right we're full okay so now I can turn let's see the mower turn it off and lift it up we'll make a right right here and we should be able to go straight into the biogas plant yeah we can right here Make a right turn, and you can see we have Bunker 1 blanketed. It is going. Matter of fact, we can roll over it and see what it's at. This is where that box comes in handy at the top left. You can see it's fermenting. It's at 2%. Uh, on easy, it takes about 8 hours to do it. I'm, I'm not sure what it was, what it is on normal, but uh, hopefully it'll uh, ferment uh, about the same same amount of time. So what we're going to do, we're going to start dumping this in bunker number two. And just spread it out even is the best best bet to do. Because it's easier to compact and... Um, spread it out even, not, not harder to drive. makes it not as hard to drive over either. Because you do have to drive over this to compact it. So now we'll drive back over that and see. Uh, I think it's two and a half percent per load. Yeah, we'll go ahead and compact this down while we're here. Yeah, it's it says two percent, but uh, I think it's closer to two and a half percent per load. So somewhere around four or five loads. Um, 
we should be able to blanket this. So that was load number one. And you see it's compacted to 100%. Now you notice it doesn't say blanket silo because we're only at 2%. So I'm thinking 10% is the minimum. So we'll go cut some more grass. We'll stay down here close to the to the plant so that when we get full we can just head right over. We'll just start right back where we left off. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you follow us on Twitter and uh, like our uh, Facebook page. We'll, uh, if we have any announcements or uh, updates or anything, they'll come out on both those pages. And I think I've already announced our schedule. Our schedule right now is going to be Westbridge on Mondays. Uh, Minecraft on Tuesdays. We'll go to Bjorn Home on Wednesday. Do another Minecraft on Thursday and then Sosnovka on Fridays. Um, right now that just seems like the uh, the best bet. And uh, if we do if we do eventually get into live streams more than likely they'll be on the weekend. Uh, for right now we don't have any plans to do any live streaming. And you know, I need to make a phone call down here to um, the lumber yard and the uh, biomass heating plant and see if we can cut those trees. Oh, do they own those? Oh, you know what? They don't own these right here. Whoever owns Field 19 owns those trees. So I guess we'll cut those when we uh, get a chance to buy Field 19. Too bad we can't buy this little oil deal right here. I bet we'd make a bunch of money off of that. Let's see. Let me come back down around here a little bit. Get a little more in line with this. And a lower more. Cows are a long-term goal. Uh, we may get into sheep, do some sheep stuff. Really, what I'd like to get into, especially on this map, is the uh, the new sugar beet stuff with the uh, the new Homer. This new baby right here that costs about. Uh, by the time you get this and this and uh, the other equipment, the, uh, the tractor, home or tractor and stuff, which, you know, we'll get at the same time. It's going to cost about uh, 500 grand or more to get into, maybe 600. Of course, you know, we have to buy the tractor. It's, gosh, it's about the price of a uh, quad track. So, uh, looking at a cool, uh, probably just under a million to get into that. So that's a uh, long-term goal there. But it should be fun. Get into sugar beet harvesting and... We're gonna... Keep going and keep doing episodes and... Uh, we'll even keep doing it after uh, Farming Simulator 17 is released. I think we'll keep these episodes going. Uh, uh, I don't know. It just it, it depends. It depends on how many maps there are available right away on um, Farming Simulator 17. We definitely want to explore everything that's possible on these maps. So, depending on how many how many episodes we have up until then, maybe. Uh, I know functionality if, is going to be different on 17, so I mean, it's hard to say right now, but we'll explore every, every possible thing that we can do on these maps. And uh, that's, that's October 25th, so that's still, 
Um, that's still three months away. One of the one of the game changers is going to be the modding. I mean, they're going to have mod support for the console, and uh, I just I think that if it's if it's going to be what I think it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. If it's going to be just like the modding on PC, then you can expect equipment, maps, uh, buildings. Uh, maps would really be cool because if somebody comes up with better maps uh, that you can use on console we won't be limited to you know just the maps that we have right now because uh, right now I mean there's only three maps by the, available for the console you have uh, Westbridge, Bjornholm and Sosnovka and don't get me wrong I mean there's nothing wrong with the maps they're, they're great maps it's just that that's all we have is just those three. I mean, I'd, it would be pretty neat if we had uh, a broader range, uh, like 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 the ones that are available on uh, PC, because we would definitely be getting into those. We would probably have to uh, scale back because right now I think we're right now I think we're shooting for two episodes per week per map uh, on Farming Simulator 15 right now and uh, if we had more maps to work with we may have to cut it back to one episode per week or just choose you know the best ones and uh, make multiple episodes of those but I'm looking forward to it I'm really excited about it it's gonna be a lot of fun So, we'll just keep doing this and uh, get this trailer full and keep mowing and uh, filling up the bunker. We'll probably pick it up again next time. Uh, so, until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade.